If you're 62 or older and are looking for money to pay off your mortgage, supplement your income, or pay for health care expenses, you may consider a reverse mortgage. In this video, we're going to share how a reverse mortgage may be a great option for you. Let's begin by understanding the basics of the reverse mortgage. A reverse mortgage, or what you may also known as a HECM, or a Home Equity Conversion Mortgage, allows you to convert part of the equity in your home into cash without having to sell your home or pay additional monthly bills. So how does a reverse mortgage work? When you have a regular mortgage, you pay the lender every month over time. In a reverse mortgage, you get a loan, but you do not make monthly payments on the mortgage. Instead, the payment for the mortgage is paid at the end of the mortgage, typically when the house is sold. Reverse mortgages take part of the equity in your home and convert it into payments to you. So it's like an advance payment on your home equity. Generally, you don't have to pay back the money for as long as you live in your home. When you die, sell your home, or move out, you, your spouse, or your estate would repay the loan. When you get a reverse mortgage, you get a loan in which you borrow against the equity in your home. You keep the title to your home. The money you get usually is not taxable and it generally won't affect your Social Security or Medicare benefits. When the last surviving borrower dies, sells the home, or no longer lives in the home as a principal residence, the loan has to be repaid. In certain situations, a non-borrowing spouse may be able to remain in the home. In a reverse mortgage, you keep the title to your home. That means you're responsible for property taxes, insurance, utilities, fuel, maintenance, and other expenses. And if you don't pay your property taxes, keep homeowner's insurance, or maintain your home, the lender might require you to repay the loan. A financial assessment is required when you apply for the mortgage. As a result, your lender may require a set-aside amount to pay your taxes and insurance during the loan. The set-aside reduces the amount of funds you can get in payments. You are still responsible for maintaining your home. So what happens to your spouse? With HECM loans, if you signed the loan paperwork and your spouse didn't, in certain situations, your spouse may continue to live in the home even after you die or he or she pays taxes and insurance and continues to maintain the property, but your spouse will stop getting money from the HECM since he or she wasn't part of the loan agreement. What about leaving it to your heirs? Most reverse mortgages have something that's called a non-recourse clause. This means that you or your estate can't owe more than the value of your home when the loan becomes due and the home is sold. With a HECM, generally if you or your heirs want to pay off the loan and keep the home rather than sell it, you would not have to pay more than the appraised value of the home. How much you can borrow with a reverse mortgage depends on several factors including your age, the type of reverse mortgage you select, the appraised value of your home, current interest rates, and a financial assessment of your willingness and ability to pay property taxes and homeowner's insurance. In general, the older you are, the more equity you have in your home, and the less you owe on it, the more money you can get. Whether a reverse mortgage is right for you is a big question. Consider all your options and make sure you're working with a lender who understands the reverse mortgage and can explain it to you. Thanks for watching. We are here to answer your questions and help you through the process. We're excited for the opportunity to earn your trust by offering the right mortgage for your unique financial scenario. You can reach us online at www.suzannedowns.com. We look forward to working with you.